Hello everybody, so Monk Suit back again with my hero. Fucking finally, we had a two week break for the dub. Um, it was going up like it was simul dub essentially for the first 11 episodes. Um, so they were coming out like the same day as the uh, original was. Um, and they had to take a two week break. Um, I was expecting them to only do it up to like episode 6, I think that's what they said, but they, they managed to push it forward up until episode 11. Um, so I was expecting it to come at some point, so you know what I mean, I wasn't I wasn't too pissed, but like, Jesus Christ. I mean, at least they got up to episode 11, because it felt like a, a sort of, um, a good place to stop. Like, if they'd stopped like in episode 10, I would have been pissed. I would have been so pissed. But, you know what I mean, episode 11 was a good cutoff point, so it was alright, you know, it was, it, I, I could deal with it. Um, but we're back. Fucking finally, like I, I, I just love the show so so much. Um, all right, so yeah, last episode was a fucking, um, it was a, incredibly emotional. Like that, that was a, a fucking real, real, real good episode. Um, the like the past few episodes for um for this have been great. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm really happy that this show is like continuously getting better like you know with with season one and you watch it and you're like oh yeah this is fucking this this is great and then you get an episode two and you're like what the fuck is going on and then you get an episode three and you're like ah oh! <laughs> it's just, it just keeps going it keeps rising it's mental um so that that's still pushing pushing that boundary you know what i mean um it's it's just still just rising and it, it's it's really really nice to say that that has not been a uh, there's not been a, like a slow point yet since since i've started you know what i mean i've loved i've loved everything um you could argue like the one that kind of dipped was the sort of the one that people call like the filler episode where that uh, was it like episode 19 of season two um where like you're mostly off with froppy and whatnot um but you know what i mean this this show is 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 really really good for its characters so you know what i mean it wasn't as much of a filler as i think people think it is but um but it's fine it's fine um so yeah last episode obviously was the the whole um the end of the uh all my verses uh all for one um and seemingly the end of of um all might's uh reign as the symbol of peace um which really really got to me <laughs> like if uh if you haven't seen my reaction to that one uh that would that one that one was tough you know what i mean because like you know what i mean i feel like i think i said this in in the last the last video i did of my hero but um i feel like i i've almost taken all might for granted this whole you know what i mean this this whole time i've, I've been watching this um you know what i mean and i've put like characters I, i've always talked about the characters that Seemingly to me was like are they like them they matter because they are growing. Like I never really give as much credit to the to the heroes that are there now. Um you know what I mean and doing the job now. Um and I think mostly that is down to the fact that you don't really see them like um doing like their day to day day, -to -day job because they are uh, they are teachers essentially, the ones that were they were that we are seeing anyway. Uh, on an episode episode basis um so yeah like aside from like episode 12 and season one and you know what i mean like uh, all might kind of t took takes taken like a back seat and like he's a bit more on the obviously the teaching side like trying to coach deco and stuff like that and trying to mentor him um and uh, yeah i felt i felt like i feel like i've taken them for granted and now that i've lost them like now that we've lost them as as a symbol of peace, it, it was fucking, it was, it was heartbreaking, it was horrible, it was sad, um, and I felt it, I really did feel it, um, I'm just thinking, I didn't write this down, but I remember people were, people were talking about, um, um, the end of the, of that episode, how, um, when Bakugo looked over at the deck and whatnot, and he had this sort of, like, a sort of look that you don't really get, um, you don't really get from Bakugo when he's looking at Deku, which is a sort of like, um, mo like a somber sort of like, oh, you were telling the truth. That is in regards to episode 8, 
um, which is like sort of like Bakugo's big turning point when people kind of understand him more in uh, season one. When uh, Deku goes to him and tells him, um, it's like, I, this is borrowed power, like, I, I, this isn't a quirk I was born with, I was given it. And people were think were thinking that maybe that is Bakugo realising that everything Deku said was true. Um, and it, it's, it's interesting to think, how will Bakugo... Bakugo Take that, Bakugou. That's what I said. <laughs> Bakugou. Um, it'll be interesting to see how Bakugou, uh thinks of that and how how he'll sort of react to it. If that is indeed what that was for, I want to know what his feeling is about it. Um, I think it'll probably bolster that sort of rivalry thing that they've got going on because obviously. Bakugo having this um, this pillar that is All Might as the uh, you know what I mean he is the very very top you know what I mean he's the wall that you need to, that he needs to climb over to be the best and now that that's passed now that you know what I mean he can't essentially like obviously like uh, essentially he can't really pass All Might on that regard because um, well he, he's gone now so it's on the Deku now essentially. Um, so I think it'll boost that that rivalry, um, but yeah, this is this is this is all leading to interesting stuff. I think, um, spe like especially in character development things, it'll be interesting to see how Batgo is is now after all of that. Um, yeah, it'll it'll definitely be interesting. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how the other characters are handled because of what they, they've went through. Um, because, you know what I mean, the whole um, sort of law thing that they had going on. It'll be interesting to see how they interact with their other classmates and things, and obviously the other teachers as well. Um, so yeah. Uh, um, so yeah, All For One is, is captured. He has that power though, don't he? He has that power to like to sort of teleport things. Although I don't know if it's like teleport thing. Was it teleport him? Like he can teleport things to a certain location, but he can't teleport himself away. I guess. I guess that's how it works. Um, but I don't know why he couldn't though. I mean, but the thing is, he's captured. He's not dead. So, you know what I mean? I I can't. I like I just don't see him staying in a cell for the rest like of the of the show like he's clearly getting getting out at some point um with the help of Kurogiri I guess um and yeah there was one thing I did write down that I did not note in when I was taking notes in the episode uh, obviously it was it was very emotional so it was kind of like Taken me over that, so I couldn't. I couldn't really figure out what exactly it was. Um, like I wasn't picking up like the details. I was just kind of involved in it. Um, was it was flicking through different, uh, like different, um, diff like different students and stuff. Uh, pretty early on in the episode, I think. Um, and it went through like Uraka, Froppy, um, Minata, uh, Minata was there, and Oyama was there. And I, I, I was having a discussion with, um, I believe Caliban on Discord, I think it was, um, about uh, Oyama and where it looks like his, like what his house looks like, and in regards to um, how his living situation is, and I think it's interesting for his character. You know how he's all sort of like, he's almost like a posh rich kid kind of thing. Like that's the vibe that he gives off. You know what I mean? Very. Um, uh, very sort of uh, about himself. He's very sort of um, what's the word? Is it pretentious that I'm looking for? Um, but he's very out there in terms of like almost like 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 he has some sort of like no nobility feeling about him. But the place in which he was in 
sort of looked a bit more tattered. Like, his house seems a bit more um, on maybe the more poor side. And I wonder if that is a big part of his character, and I think it would be great, actually, because it'll it'll really give us an idea of, like, Ioma as, like, wanting to put on this face of, you know what I mean, of being the opposite of what he is, which is which is quite poor. Um, it'll, 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 it'll be nice, it'll be nice, because I love, I love character development, I love um, that kind of stuff, especially for, like, side characters, and I think that this show does it well with our side characters in doing that, so... It wouldn't surprise me if that was the case, you know what I mean? The fact that he, he acts like this um, sort of uh, very uh, well-off, rich kid, but in reality, like, he's kind of not, and I think that um, that would be really cool. Because we've only had that, like, that different style of seeing a different side of Ayama during the, uh, when they were in the forest, and uh, he was on his own with Jiro and... I can't remember who the other one was, but uh, they were knocked out, and he was like alone, and he was he was actually frightened and like he was afraid, um, and it was a nice thing to see, um, like that different side of him. So yeah, interesting. But yeah, I wrote it down, so I, I thought I'd, I'd pick it up because I didn't touch on it uh, at the end of the last episode. <sighs> anyway, that was a long that was a long pre-discussion thing, but you know what I mean. I haven't seen this in fucking in weeks, so you know what I mean. I, I kind of had a sort of you know, remind myself and everything like that so anyway without further ado episode 12 let's go now it's your turn <laughs> that look there honestly even though we captured their boss i'd have to say this whole thing was a draw don't be stupid a draw our country just lost the symbol of peace all Might's weakened body has been exposed to the world. Yeah. Everyone knows the indestructible hero can be defeated now. He now appears to be focused on how he can mold our society. His thought process has evolved, matured, and since All Might's out of the picture, we've lost our biggest deterrent to criminal activity. He I mean, we've still got Endeavor. There's one thing I can say for certain. We must capture the League of Villains no matter what. As the police, we have to be more proactive in apprehending villains. We are not just backup. It's time we implement changes. The mighty symbol of peace is no more. However, I won't just sit here. There's still something I must do. Tomura Shigaraki, Shimura's grandson, yes? It happened soon after Shimura's husband was killed. Concerned, she put her child in foster care to shield the youngster from the hero world. I'll find him and then... Then what? Give him a pat on the head? You're not looking at him like the villain he is anymore. That's dangerous. Remember that no matter his lineage, he's still a criminal. Endeavor, I guess. He's been like that ever since he came home. If All Might really can't be the hero he once was anymore, then the number one spot is finally my father's. Uh, not in the way that he wanted that, though. I don't accept it. Not like this. I should have earned it myself, not by him failing. It's very similar to the back I just going can't to believe what a hard time All Might's had lately. All Might. All Might! Ah, you finally made it. It sure took you long enough. All Might! <laughs> Texas! <laughs> <laughs> what? You made a promise. But as it turns out, you can't keep your word. If you kids had gotten hurt, it would have all been in vain. You've got some uh. bad influences. I'm officially retired as a pro. It's clear that my body isn't going to allow me to fight another battle. I protect you when you put yourself in danger now. And you're always rushing in to try and help no matter what I tell you. Destroying your body over and over. Get back there. You managed to... <laughs> Rescue your friend. Without being injured or getting into a fight, I'm so proud of you. From here on out, I will devote myself to training you. You're stuck with me, so let's keep working hard together. Thank you. I thought we agreed that you'd stop it with the waterworks. <laughs> Only a slight pain lingered on my cheek. I barely felt it, so I knew it was true. 
All Might's reign as top hero had come to an end. As a citizen, a hero, and the principal, I cannot express how grateful we all are to you. However, given everything that's happened, there are many who do not believe you should continue as a teacher at UA. Some are pointing out that our troubles began when you started working here. Nevertheless, I believe I know what we need to do to ease the concerns the public has expressed. We must strengthen the faith people have in the heroes we have left. That is why we're going to implement a plan I've had in mind for a while. I'm counting on you to convince the students' families. Into a dorm? Mm. I don't know. Sounds pretty out of tune to me. I get that you guys don't want to keep talking about what happened, but moving the kids into dorms isn't going to change the fact that my daughter was injured. What you're saying is quite true, Mr. Oh, Jiro. Dear God. However, I'd like to assure you that this is not a matter of UA's pride. I hope that you'll give us the honor of continuing to teach Kyoka. I believe wholeheartedly that UA can help her grow into the best hero she can be. Whoa. No need for you to be all formal, Mr. Aizawa. We decided what we were going to do right after we got the notice in the mail. I mean, you should have heard my old man during All Might's fight. My daughter's teacher is so hardcore, man! That battlefield is a stadium and he's knocking it down! Oh my god. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was crying. Yoka, come on! Plus the next family. Probably won't be so easy. Oh shit, it's back, bro! Oh! Get this kid in a dorm room. You hag! Hit me again and I'll kill you! Hey, if you hadn't been so damn weak, you never would have gotten caught and caused all that trouble! Oh my god! Two, please, no fighting! We don't want to frighten your teachers! That's his dad! What? Yeah, I guess you to butt out! Oh, don't you even think about using your quirk, Kotsky! Jeez. This is best. Some family dynamic. This is the best. So... The dorm? Actually, we're grateful. Kotsky's fearless and good at everything he tries, especially since he's got that stupid awesome quirk. People were always fawning over him whether he deserved it or not. It's probably why he ended up like this. That's why I liked what you said. They confirmed the it. press conference. See, that's when I understood that the school was watching him closely. I was worried about the kid, obviously, and didn't know what would happen. But he's back now, safe and sound, so it worked out. <laughs> He's oh, a hot-tempered brat, and we know he's a pain, but please train him hard and make him a good hero. Dude, okay. I can go so Midori's house is close by, isn't it? All night. Let me punish that t-shirt he's got on. Sure turn. I gotta know, what exactly is Deku to you? He's my student, just like you. I'm sorry, young Bakugo, but I can't say any more than that. Yeah, sure. If you don't want to tell me, that's fine. Oh, and thank you. Kotsky! I heard you! He's so calm. Oh, please come on inside. We're so honored. Thank you. I can't believe All Might is in our home. <laughs> oh, Mom, it's totally fine. <laughs> Probably already know why I'm here. You received a notice that UA is moving our students to dormitories? And I won't allow it. <gasps> Wait, what? But yesterday you said- I've thought about it since then, and I've changed my mind. But ever since enrolling at UA, my child just keeps getting hurt. Just look at him. Do you know about his arms? If he injures them anymore, he might not ever be able to move them again. Izuku wants to be just like you. But if he follows your path, his future will be filled with blood. So I'm sorry. Oh, help me! I am here! But he's my son. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Always so happy just watching the heroes do their jobs. Maybe it was better that way. I don't know. Uh, I shouldn't have been surprised. I'd been ignoring my mother's feelings for so long. I'll speak frankly, sir. As Izuku's mother, I don't have the nerves I'd need to entrust my son to UA. Not with everything that's happened at your school. You couldn't stop your students from getting seriously injured, almost killed. I won't put my son in danger. It's my duty as his mother. Ma'am. It's not like that, Mom! It's my own fault that I kept getting hurt! The teachers warned me over and over again, but I didn't listen! So you're saying you didn't learn? Don't you think that means the school's responsible? Izuku! It doesn't have to be UA! Here, huh? look at this. You too, All Might. I got a letter at the hospital. 
It's from the boy I saved at the training camp. I know I'm hopeless and make you worry all the time. But still, when I read this note, even if it was just for a moment, it made me feel like a real hero. It's not just the danger, is it? It's the fact that it's the other people as well. I know like who he's... I'm meant to be, and that's what I'll train for! At UA, or not! I swear it! Young Midoriya. <laughs> you are uh, not just an aspiring hero following in my footsteps. You are on your own path toward greatness. I'm afraid I haven't been up front, ma'am. Please allow me to try again. I believe that young Izuku is the right person to succeed me. That is, he is my choice to become the world's next symbol of peace. I allowed myself to remain his hero rather than giving my all as his teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's true that my path has been filled with blood. But that is what makes me the right person to help him find his own way. Free of the mistakes that I made as a young hero. He never gives up. Even when things seem impossible. Do you think I can be a hero too? Look not at the current UA, but toward the future. Will you allow me to devote myself to young Izuku? Together we will go beyond. I will lift him up. And I will protect your son, even if it costs me my life. You are Izuku's reason for living. It's not that I hate you or you, eh? It's just... I want Izuku to be safe and happy. All Might, don't give up your life. He needs you to protect him. Raise him. If you can promise me you'll do that, then he can return to you, eh? Oh, Mom. Whew. I promise. Please, take good care of my boy. I lost to you, All Might. The struggle I put up was truly pitiful. But it is you who failed in the end. When a student relies on a master, and that master disappears, the student's hatred grows, allowing him to walk the path of a true leader. Take all this experience, loathing, and regret, and use it as you move forward. Now, it's your turn. Oh, oh, Here's the preview! Christ. Alright, episode 12. Oh, God, another great episode. Um... You know that that whole thing of going around uh, the different students' um, places and obviously trying to get them into a dorm um, was great. I loved it. Um, obviously, extremely uh, like when uh, Inko Deco's mother was uh, was going on about it and saying no and stuff. Like I was, I, I was finding it hard to disagree with that really. Um, but you know, I think it's it's it kind of brung it close at the home, you know. I think, and I'm not sure if it's um, if it's on purpose, but well, first of all, everyone, everyone, ever, everyone really like likes Stecker's mother. You know what I mean? Like she's she's an absolute sweetheart. Like I, I don't know anybody who who doesn't like her. Um, but I think like just like Deku says, you know what I mean? He hasn't really been paying attention to um, like his mother and what she's feeling. I feel like maybe as a, as like the storytelling also forces the the audience to to like not either. I think it's easy to just get kind of like swept up and like oh whatever Deku's doing. You know what I mean? It's fine with me because to us you know what I mean like we are aware of what Shonen is at the end of the day you know what I mean Deku is not gonna he's not gonna go die you know what I mean um or anything like that but you know what I mean I think it's it's better to not look at a story like that and be like you know what I mean oh I know what's gonna happen because you know what I mean? If this was that, then you couldn't have... I think it's best to, tr to just try your best to take that out of your mind and just live 
vicariously like through the characters because as, as soon as you can do that um you can really sort of get a feel for what the characters are and why they do the things they do and why they feel the things they feel and when Inko was going on about it like you know what I mean I was just I was sitting here I was quiet because I couldn't really say anything against it you know it's true um you know that like ever since he's got this this power you know what I mean he's constantly he's always in the hospital you know what I mean he's always he's always injured um So, uh, you know, it would make sense. But obviously she was, she, like, as a worried parent, she was obviously looking at the, at the negatives about it. I think it was interesting that Deku ran out, got, um, got the letter from, um, bloody, what's his name? Oh, God, see, I can't even remember. It begins with a K, do not it? Where is it? Where is it? Coda. Yes, Coda. Um, yeah, the letter the Coda co uh, wrote him and sort of show, like showed her the, the positives, the impact. Of course, it's like, you know, as, as is human nature, it's it's sort of selfishness you know what i mean we we are as a species inherently selfish you know so obviously we would we you know what I mean? like as a parent you wouldn't be caring about like you know what i mean what like the other like the people that she doesn't know strangers you know what i mean obviously she thinks it's a good deed but if it means that her son has to be hurt in order for her to do it she would rather it didn't happen um, you know, and I think that was really important to what All Might did afterwards, because I think if even if he, like, he, it was just showing the letter, and that was it, it still wouldn't have got through to her. So, I think it was important for All Might to go all out, you know, and, um, and swear he's sort of like, you know, undying loyalty to protect protect Midoriya and they did that thing they did that thing and they did this they did this with hands in um, in uh, Attack on Titan um, by the way spoilers for Attack on Titan if you haven't seen it I, I'm going to say something so um, you know what I mean you've got five seconds uh, I'll hold up my app I'll, I'll give it a thumbs up when I'm when I'm finished talking about it so if you just want to mute the uh, mute the video then you can do so five, four, three, two, one. So yeah, it's just like hands with the whole. You know what I mean? Like, I would give my own life to die before any of this happens, and, and it's sort of like it's that foreshadowing thing, and it's it's not good. It's not a good feeling because you know, with Shigaraki being, you know what I mean, as the uh, after credit scenes suggest it's a, it's Shigaraki is a hell of a lot more um, angered now um, you know even if if I mean beforehand if All Might was to go to Shigaraki and explain all of this you know I mean that that she that he is um, he is a uh, Shimura's, is it grandson? It is grandson, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you know I mean, I, I still, I still think like if you'd done that before, it, it still wouldn't have been like enough. But now it's literally gonna do nothing. I think if he, if he was to tell Shigaraki about it now, it would, it it would be worse. I think. I think he he would just get even more agitated. Because I feel like he would feel like, oh no, you're just telling lies, you're telling bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, you would start feeling the... Maybe for the first time, Shigaraki would actually see somebody else as, like, evil. 
you know I think it will be it's interesting to sort of see it from try and try and see it from his point of view you know the fact that you know when we look at it you know I mean it's clearly obvious who the heroes and the villains are but an interesting perspective to really look at is go to the villains side try and fit in their shoes and see what like what they see you know what I mean because a lot of the time you'll find the villains some villains you know what I mean they are so righteous in their head that they believe that they are doing the right thing so they, ne they would never see themselves as evil I think um, I think Shigaraki does um, however I don't think he's ever been at a point where like he would look at somebody else and think that they are evil I think if All Might was to go to him and try and like explain to him this truth, Shigaraki would actually get a hell of a lot, like get agitated and feel like, you know what I mean? He'd be like, you bastard, you fuck. You know what I mean? Like, because it would be more like instead of All Might as you would normally do it, you know what I mean? I think, you know what I mean? It's almost like a manipulation as opposed to like what All Might would normally do, which was like just straight up, you know, um, defend and fight for like. For justice and being a symbol of peace as opposed to like what he would have to do now because he can't fight which was you know what i mean which to shigaraki would seem like manipulation and i wonder if he would ever look at some i wonder if shigaraki would ever look at like somebody who's obviously on the opposite side and think they they are evil you know it's an interesting concept you know the idea of like a villain thinking that like they are the hero and then they are fighting off against the villain you know it's an interesting concept and it deals with a lot of um, people's ideals and stuff and the fact that, you know what I mean, everyone's the hero of our own story essentially. Um, but yeah. The very beginning, um, you know what I mean, they were saying, yeah, that's it, All Might is, is done. Um, you know what I mean, people are breaking down because they don't have the symbol of peace anymore. And um, it really puts it in, into perspective exactly what the symbol of peace is. Um, keyword being symbol um, you know just him being around and, and you know what I mean the idea that everyone's like oh my god look at this strong guy he never he never loses you know what I mean we've got him we've got him forever and as long as we have him we'll be fine now that they don't have him like have him anymore it, it's gone and I think um, you know what I mean because we've seen we've seen the weakness like every, everybody in the public has seen his, his weakness which is why he kept it secret and it really brings it home you know what i mean that that is the difference between all might and an and endeavor you know what i mean the fact that endeavor is such a great hero but obviously he's he's he's, uh, he's saved more you know what i mean he's took down more villains than what all might has yet you know what i mean they don't the public doesn't look to endeavor to like for safety essentially you know what i mean like they look at they look at all night as as the the similar piece and that's a, that's a big difference between the two you know what i mean like people don't look at uh, endeavor and think right we are we are absolutely fine we are going to be we are going to be all right you know um and yet you know what i mean it's it's sort of like to me i, I wrote down well you still got endeavor because I mean, as long as it's not up against all for one, I'd say Endeavor could still beat any of those villains, hands down. Um, you know, so, but then again, all, all for one's just in prison. Like, I can see him getting broken out of there. And then what? You know? Um, so, yeah. I'll have to say. Oh yeah, also that. <laughs> in case everyone, everyone, I for, I'm completely sorry, I completely forgot um, about that. Uh, yeah. So the so Shimura put Shigaraki in um, in foster care. But but he is the grandson, right? He is the he is Sh Shimura's grandson, not not son, right? I'm sure he is.
Yeah, grandson. So, but they said when Shimura's significant other passed away, right? Or did they say Shigaraki's father? I think they said Shimura's significant other. So Nana Shimura's husband or boyfriend or something, right? If that's the case, and it was if they were talking about Shimura's significant other, then why would she put? I mean, I get, but then it's, I, I'm just interested to see like why is it up to Nana Shimura to do it as opposed to his actual parents? You know, because I wrote down so the so the 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 hand that Sh uh, Shigaraki has on he doesn't have it anymore. Because it dropped, um, it dropped through the through uh, before he went through the portal, right? And I figure that that was some symbolization kind of thing, and where like uh, Shim uh, Shigaraki had a sort of more fatherly figure out of all for one. I feel like so this fa the father hand just m was gone at that point. But I wrote down so the father hand isn't actually Shigaraki's true father. Then it was it's his foster father's. Um. <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't know. Damn it. I'll have to see. Um, yep, yeah, dorm system. So everyone's getting put in the dorm. I'm like... I'm in... Tr I'm, in I'm, I'm sort of like, I'm wondering... They are, they're putting everyone in a dorm... As a sort of safety mechanism, I guess. But is that really safe to, to put all of the students in one place? I don't know. I, I don't. I, I'm not sure about that. Because last time they did that was in the forest, and then and then they just got swarmed. And that's why Deku is the way that he is now because of that. So I'm not sure that is a like. Not, not a very good safety mechanism. I mean, I guess it, it makes the, the sort of the families of the students more safe, but the students themselves, I, I, I'm not sure. Um, if the enemy gets like knows about that, the dorm thing, then that could be bad. Um, <laughs> back it goes, mother and mother and father. Great, I love it. I fucking love it. Fucking, back it goes, mother. By the way. Damn, <laughs> fucking honestly, I love it. I love it so much. It's great. It's so good. Um, I love the fact that I love the fact that Bakugo's dad's like so. <laughs> I love that he's so different. Like Bakugo's mother, yes. Like I can, I can, I can see that a mile off. Like I can see that is definitely back. Like that, like she is Bakugo's mother. And that's probably where he where he gets a lot of his a lot of his a lot of his tendencies from. Um, but damn, she she is the, she's she's definitely the the milf of this. Top, definitely. Um, but I love the fact that he's, that his dad's like so like so somber and so like laid back to the end. <laughs> I'm just looking at it right, and it's like. That mother, wear, like the mother, wears the pants in that family. Absolutely, no, no questions asked. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, damn. Like, it wouldn't be surprised. It wouldn't surprise me. Like, if if um, back goes mother. Did we get? Did we get our name? I don't think we did. Did we? I'm not sure we did. Anyway, if back goes mother. Like, I feel like. Like how, however that went down, I have no idea. Like how they, how they got together. I wonder if like. I feel like uh, Batgo's mother was like the one that actually went and asked him out, as opposed to like where it would normally be like the other way. Especially in Japanese culture, you know. What I mean, generally it's the it's the it's the man that, that has to like step up and 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 ask. But I feel like it would be the other way. <laughs> I love the dynamic of his dad being so so fucking. Oh, I just love it. I love it. It's great. 
And also Batgirl was wearing like I'm, I I I am a hundred percent that shirt the Batgirl is wearing is absolutely a Punisher shirt. Like you know what I mean? I, I guarantee it is. You know what I mean? It's obviously not like true Punisher because copyright and shit, but it, it de that's definitely what it means. They, they, they have they've done a lot of um, a lot of Easter eggs relating to other stuff uh, in the show. I guarantee that's another one of them. And um, honestly, if, if if we are relating Batgirl to the Punisher, I am absolutely fine with that because <laughs> the Punisher is fucking deadly, and I love him. Um, but yeah, Batgirl's mother confirmed. Um, like Bakugo's upbringing like the reason why that he is the way he is because he was fucking praised from an early age like he could take on the world he was a fucking king he had the best he had the best quirk you know what I mean the reason why he's so he's so uptight and he's so you know what I mean yeah he, he might have like beforehand you know what I mean he, he, he had that he would have had that um sort of um over the top more like angry sort of persona you know what i mean like um uh shit once again once again ah, another episode where i can't remember the fucking word i can't remember but you know that he, he would he's, he'd still act like um Over the top and I can't think of it. I can't fucking think of it. Very fiery, you know, like I guess that kind of word. Yeah, he'd be very fiery, just like just like uh, the mother is. You know what I mean? So he would have had that growing up, I guarantee. But of but you know what I mean? It was just enhanced by that um, by that uh, upbringing, uh, being told that it, that he could take on the world. So it's nice to, for it to be confirmed because I mean it was I, I mean I found it was pretty straightforward from episode seven and eight, you know, um, of uh, season one. But you know what I mean for those who do weren't too sure or just didn't pick up on it. Well, there you go, that's confirmed. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how Deku Deku actually does things now because we've had this whole thing with Ingo and uh, all uh, one. Yeah, all might um, having that sort of that chat about him moving into the dorms and being at UA and stuff. Because in the past, it generally it doesn't take long for shit to kick off, um, and then Deku's like the first one to go in and you know what I mean, fucking break himself to you know what I mean, to, and just basically go beyond. Um, this could change a lot. This could change a lot of things. Um, because I would I would, I would I would think that Deku now is going to take on a more a more tempered approach. Like a more sort of um, calculated and a bit less more um, reckless. Because All Might saying you know what I mean, on the beach, you know what I mean, you, you, you know what I mean, you, you went out of your way and, you know what I mean, you don't, you, you don't listen to us and whatever and you just go out and you break your body, but this time, this time you did it and you went out and you saved your friend and you didn't get hurt because of it. So I wonder if that's a mentality that Deku's going to do now. And maybe... I mean, I don't know how you do this without, like, sacrificing that whole Deku, like, one-on-one -on -one fight shit. You know what I mean? Where he literally goes all out in the fucking... And, and it's it's great seeing them, like, in that one-on-one -on -one fight mode. But I'm wondering because of what... Uh, because, of, because All Might said that and... Um... You know, and, and All Might was saying you've gone down your own path now and it's not about... It's not about living up to All Might or, you know, doing everything that All Might does, doing the way All Might does things, that he's going down his own path. Is this how he does it? Is is it going to be more calculated and, like, if he is strategic, how does he do it? How does he go about it? Because as a protagonist in a shonen, 
kind of you can live for those one-on-one -on -one fights and if they're not going to be there I don't know um, but this show has sort of given you some expectation you know I mean it's kind of you know it's broken down some walls in regards to what we expect from a shonen you know what I mean um, like some of the cliche tropes aren't as prevalent in this as they are in other shows so you know what I mean if that is the route they went down it would definitely be very interesting because I feel like while Deku might change his style up to be more um, more smart strategic and in any way that you can't get hurt that's how he ends up doing it you've still got people like Bakugo and Shoto who can go out in like all out fights so you know what I mean because that's the beauty of this show is because of the characters they are that strong you can have them like come into the forefront it doesn't always have to be Deku doing everything you know which is great um, so yeah we've got Tartarus prison that was where all the ones being held um, I imagine it's probably going to be like the raft <laughs> um, in in the Marvel Universe probably another little Easter egg kind of thing although if they were going to call it like I guess if they were going to make it an Easter egg it would have been more obvious but you know what I mean it's something similar to that um, you know what I mean essentially a super prison where um, all of the 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 worst villains go kind of thing um, and finally the again they, they do this a lot but they, they show the similarities between the villains the heroes and the villains so obviously last episode it was uh, it's your turn from All Might to Deku and this episode it's from All Full On to Shigaraki you know what I mean it's your turn so yeah it's going to be interesting it's going to be interesting to see how this is going but like you know what I mean it's great to see that like even like a down like sort of chill episode from the episodes that we've got that we've that we've had um so like but it's it's great to see like such a a chill relaxed sort of episode away from them that is still great you know what i mean like i think this as a as an episode of itself because they they put in so much emotion into it and like there's still stakes there even though they're not the typical like atypical stakes of like a like a like a fight you know what i mean um i think everything in the show is is so like well put together that you know what i mean even the slow the the, the, the episodes that you would consider like more slower or less epic still are so good um So I'm really enjoying it. Absolutely awesome. It's great to be it's great to be back with my hero. Missed it, I very much have. So yeah, that is all. So thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.